Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I've got no glass of wine and no cup of coffee. So I'm going to put my hands in my pockets because I know I ring them otherwise. The futility of getting up in the morning. There is a point beyond which you are actually depressed and you realise it. Now, you can go through that point and come out the other end without ever knowing about it. Unfortunately, uh, if you've been in that situation and you come across it again, you will know about it. Now, in the YouTube arena, there are quite a few YouTubers that have said that their orchids have been their saviour. One in particular springs to mind and others follow along. Why is this? If I don't get up in the morning, what will happen? Well, first of all, I'll have a very upset cat, and that is the reason I usually get up in the morning, because the little tyke gets me up in the morning. It's breakfast time, row, 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 and we get up. Now, this morning that was quarter to four. I can do without getting up at quarter to four. Can I do without my cat? No. Will I have to? Eventually. We've already done without one. So what do we do? We get up in the morning and many people have a routine. Now those that are still have the, and I'm going to call it a luxury, those that have the luxury of still going to work. You have a reason to get up in the morning. It's to go to work. Whether you like your job or not, it's irrelevant. You get up because it's the day you go to work. And you go through a routine. You probably gulp your breakfast down and give yourself indigestion and rush off and go whizzing up the road and turn out onto the main road and go, ugh, traffic. And you put up with that every day. Or you go and sit on a train and, you know, uh, whatever, commuting. But you go to work and it's a routine and it happens on most days. And on the days when it doesn't happen, what do you do? You think, oh, marvellous, I haven't got to go to work today, so what shall I do? I'm not going to do that much because I haven't got to go to work today. When you retire... Every day is that day. Oh, I haven't got much to do today because I haven't got to go to work. So what do you do? Well, you get up in the morning. <laughs> I remember an interview with, um, I don't know who was the interviewer, but the interviewee was Jimi Hendrix. And he'd obviously been dragged out of bed <laughs> um, early in the day to do this interview. And this guy went on and on. He says, you know, you, you sort of, what do you do? What, how, how does your day exist? You know, you sort of, do you go to the studio? Do you sit down quietly and write stuff and like that sort of thing? You know, when you get up, do you do so and so, so and so? And Jimi Hendrix just looked up and said, I try to get up every day. <laughs> it tickled me, that did. So why do I get up in the morning? Why do I get up in the morning? This was going to be a rant, and it's not. It's far from it. Because I look round here, and this is part of the reason I get up in the morning. And occasionally, recently, it's losing its edge. With the problems I've had with trying to control this environment, some days it's too much. And I sort of think, actually, I'm not going to do anything today in here. And today was one of those days. Um, it won't make any difference to what's going on out here. That one day will not make any difference. Um, I am trying to force spring in here. And to do that... Ah, oh, the kit's come on. Tough. You have to put up with it. It's right next to the camera. Oh, I suppose I'd better stop. It's right next to the camera. I know the sound will overwrite. So we'll take it down to the night setting. Shh. But, yeah, I mean, it's um, the thing I should have done today was water the mounts. I've gone from watering them every three or four days 
to trying to water them virtually every day. I miss today. I let it go. Nothing will die, but I am trying to encourage growth. And then alongside that, I've got my garden, you know, which is coming into spring. Lots of things are bursting into life. And they're doing that without any help. Um, I want to cut down the bon uh, bonsai, <laughs> cut down the bamboo at the bottom of the garden. I can't do that now. Where I've hacked the um, laurel bushes, you, you've seen the pictures in the garden, the idea being I can create a sort of hedge along the fence there, that's where the blackbird used to nest. Guess where it's nesting now? In the bamboo, and it's already started. So I now can't touch that. Well, I could, but I'm not that sort of person. So the bamboo will have to wait. You know, I'll just have to wait. Um, bonsai stuff. Um, it's not a huge amount of work, and when we get weather like we've had today, where it's rained most of the day, you could do nothing with the bonsai <laughs> sort of collection out in the garden, because you haven't got to water them if it's raining, and you haven't got to move them around to get them out of the sun, those that don't like harsh sun. So today, I had very little to do. Now, I'm going to post this tomorrow, so this is late in the evening, it's actually starting to get dark. Um, but it's been a day of not much. I went round the um, little post office and paid the money in from the Orchid Society and um, got a few bits and pieces in the little shop. Whenever I go round there, I always buy something. It's a little local shop and if people don't support it, it will close down and that means I lose my little local shop and my post office where I pay my money in for the Orchid Society and in this case get some money out. The reason I got some money out today, I'm debating in my mind whether to go to the big bonsai expo. Um, I don't like the journey, I really don't like the journey. Um, it will take me over two hours um, but if I leave early enough, it won't take as long as it could do if I left later. So I could sort of set my mind and... Uh, but it's on a Sunday. And if I go this Sunday, then we don't get our Sunday chat, do we? And that's one of my important videos, as I see it. It, get, it gets the most views. And um, as a consequence, it's important for the channel. And the channel's important, because if the channel wasn't here, why would I bother with all this? Would I bother with all this? That's a question. Would I bother with the orchids? Because if I didn't, then do I need this place? Or do I just have a one or two bedroom ground floor flat somewhere with a little bit of garden that's a lot cheaper? These thoughts go round all the time. And I always come back to the fact that I like my orchid channel and I like my orchids and I like my orchid society. Um, it all goes together. It makes a big thing. When in fact it's component parts. And sometimes some of those component parts lose interest. Doesn't happen for long, but it happens. And today was one of those days. I walked out here and I thought, Nope, I can't be bothered. And I walked back indoors. And I went off to the post office and paid me money in. And I had a little drive in the car. And then it rained so hard I had a job to see in front of me. So I thought, this is, this is silly, <laughs> bordering on dangerous. We'll go home again. So we did that. And um, I had a little sleep in the chair. And um, sat with Mojo in the sunshine. Um, he only looks happy now when he's asleep or in that sunny spot when the sun comes in through the lounge window either onto the sofa settee or onto that piece of carpet he settles down there and he looks happy but most of the time he doesn't look happy and he's not I'm not but 
What do we do? Do we give up? No, we don't. Do we fight on? No, we don't. Do we plod on? Probably. So we plod on. I've seen a lot of people on the YouTube channels that have struggled for various health reasons. Uh, at the moment, I don't seem to have any of those, not to any great extent, anyway. Um, but for various reasons, they've struggled. But they've carried on. And I'll carry on. But sometimes I don't know why. And I'm not that sort of person. I like to understand. I like to know why. And today was one of those days when I questioned, why are you doing all these things? Why are you growing bonsai trees that in some cases will never be a good bonsai in your lifetime? We all have a limited life. Yeah? I mean, I'm 70 plus now. If I get another 10 years, I'll be happy. I could get another 20 years. <laughs> I've drunk a fair bit in my time, I like my wine, I've smoked a lot. So you sort of think, well, if my end game is around this number of years time, what do I try and do within those years? And am I wasting my time arsing around in, you know, in a, in a conservatory with some orchids? The answer is no, I'm not wasting my time because I quite like it. But I doubt sometimes. Sometimes I doubt. And I sort of stop and think, what could I do instead? I could travel. Well, I can't do that when I've got orchids, bonsai and a cat. But we now only have one cat. In the not too distant future, that will be no cats. Now, some people have suggested I get an elderly cat as company. You can't do that. If you understand cats, you know that a cat is territorial. Most cats are solitary. They like their own company. Unfortunately, mine is missing his friend. And it's, it's not nice. But he will get over it, as I will. And hopefully that won't take too long. I mean, somebody said, why don't you talk to your vet? He's not injured, he's not ill, he's not sick. He's pining for his friend. The vet's of as much use as a piss in the sea, quite honestly. And rushing to doctors and vets and people like that is what needs to stop. Deal with your own problems. I have problems in my mind. I'm not happy at the moment. So I try and do things that make things better. And Mojo will do the same eventually, slowly but surely. And we'll get there. But I don't know. Some days are just not right. And this was one of those days. And the fact that it was chucking it down with rain most of the day didn't help at all. <laughs> So I said I had to go round the post office. Now normally I stroll round. It's a, it's a, about a ten minute walk. Did we walk round there today? Did we hell? We got the car out. Which is two minutes in the car. And then we got a park and we still had to walk in the rain to get from the car to the door. Today's just been one of those days that didn't work. Will tomorrow be one of those days? Well, it could be, but I doubt it. Because I know me, and I very rarely get two of those days together. I just get one. And this was one of those. I got woken up early, um, quarter to four. So at quarter to four in the morning, I'm downstairs sorting out breakfast for my cat. Get the computer fired up to have a look at my comments. And there weren't that many, so that didn't take long. And, you know, then, then you're sort of... Oh. Come on. 
So I've forgotten my joke because I decided that it's raining. Right, as you're here, you can come. Oh, you're all wet. <laughs> come and say hello to people. Come and say hello to people. Hey. Okay. <laughs> you're all wet. Wet cat. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot he was out there. Oh. Come on then, here we go. Now he'll go in and cry. What? Anyway, times are not always easy. And somehow or other, we muddle through. Now, I'm not muddling through as well as I have done. But I will muddle through. But that doesn't help. See you another time. <laughs>